Does it seem like heat waves are hotter and more frequent? Droughts last longer? The heaviest downpours that lead to damaging floods happen more often. That's because in parts of the world, some kinds of extreme weather events have become more frequent and intense. Scientists say this increase is due to human-caused climate change, caused primarily from the burning of fossil fuels like coal, gas, and oil. At the same time, exposure to climate-related hazards is increasing as more people and more assets are located in coastal areas, floodplains, heavily populated cities, and informal settlements, all places particularly affected by weather extremes like floods and intense heat. Marginalized groups such as women, children and the elderly, people with disabilities, indigenous people and ethnic minorities are often the most vulnerable to these events. Extreme weather can have catastrophic consequences, including crop failure, infrastructure damage, displacement, spread of disease, poor health, even death. What if we could better prepare for these hazards by understanding the changing risk of extreme weather events? Now that's possible. Due to recent advancements in science and technology, scientists can look for signs that climate change has contributed toward extreme weather events and can use this information to understand if climate change is making these extreme weather events more or less likely to occur, or more intense than they would have been otherwise. This is called attribution science. This science uses observations of what has happened in reality to understand the historical context of an extreme weather event and simulates possible events with computer models, with and without climate change, to see if the observed event was made more likely or more intense with climate change. Having the ability to accurately assess and predict the risk of an individual extreme weather event happening may help us put in place measures to lessen the impact of future events, reducing or eliminating heavy destruction and loss of life. Take for example the heat wave that gripped southeastern Indian states in late May of 2015. Temperatures topped 45 degrees Celsius. Hospitals were so crowded with patients suffering from heat-related conditions that some people were turned away. It's estimated the heat resulted in 2,500 deaths. Scientists found that climate change made the deadly heat wave twice as likely to happen. This gives us scientific evidence, not simply a guess, at the risk of similar heat waves occurring in this part of India in the future. That knowledge opens up opportunities for preparedness. For example, in India, the city authorities in Aminabad in Gujarat state partnered with public health agencies and community groups to prepare for extreme heat. Informed by climate science, the partnership developed a heat action plan detailing an early warning and response system. The Heat Action Plan launched in 2013 and is helping to reduce heat-related deaths in the city. A severe heat wave in 2010 claimed the lives of approximately 1,300 people in Aminabad, while fewer than 20 heat-related deaths were reported in the city during the devastated 2015 heat wave, which killed thousands elsewhere in India. Heat waves are the type of extreme weather where it is common to find climate change played an important role. For other extreme weather events, like droughts, the influence is generally subtler, making them trickier to analyze. In particular, even though we expect the risk of heat waves and downpours to increase globally, locally other factors, including changes in weather patterns, might act against the expected trends. But having scientific knowledge of the changing nature of the risks of individual extreme weather events helps us put in place plans to keep more people, more places, more often, out of harm's way.